हेलो गाइस आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी इफ यू हैव डन इट येट नाउ द वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस टू प्रॉब्लम्स सो द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज दैट टू कपल्स एक्ट ऑन द बीम एज शोन इफ एफ इक्वल्स टू वन फिफ्टी पाउंड डिटर्मिन द रिजल्ट एंड कपल मोमेंट सो वी हैव दीज टू पेयर ऑफ फोर्सेज एंड दे आर प्रोड्यूसिंग टू कपल्स so we are required to determine the resultant couple moment so the resultant couple moment is equal to and let's assume that the counter clockwise couple is considered to be positive so in order to find the couple due to these two forces they are making some angle with the horizontal and that angle is given in the form of this small triangle so if you want to resolve this force f into its component so it will have one component which is going to act in this direction we will have one component like this and this one will be the cos component we can say that this is f cos of theta and if we are considering this angle theta then from this small triangle where this is 3 5 and 4 if this is theta then cos of theta is base divided by hypotenuse so it is 4 divided by 5 for this small triangle so we can say that this component is f into 4 divided by 5 similarly we will have uh, the sine component which is going to act here in the downward direction we can write that this is f um sine of theta and if we again consider that same triangle if this is the angle theta then sin of theta will be this perpendicular divided by hypotenuse so this perpendicular is 3 and the hypotenuse is 5 so we can say that this is 3 divided by 5 and similarly we can resolve this force f as well this one will be the cos component again we have that same triangle we are considering this angle so this is parallel to that force so this this one, this is again that same cos component so we can say that this is f into 4 divided by 5 and similarly we will have this component this will be f this will be the sine component that is 3 divided by 5 so to find the resultant uh, couple moment uh, is we can see that uh, this cos component of this force f they are producing the uh, counter clockwise couple so we can say that this is plus f into 4 divided by 5 and the perpendicular distance between uh, both of these components is 1.5 so multiply it by 1.5 the couple magnitude is always equal to the force times the perpendicular distance between both the forces similarly the sine component this sine component and this sine component they are also producing the uh, counter clockwise couple so we will write plus and the sine component is f 3 divided by 5 and the perpendicular distance between this sine component and this sine component is 4 feet this is the perpendicular distance so we need to multiply it with 4 and similarly this 200 pound these two forces they are producing um the clockwise couple right so we will write minus since the counter clockwise couple is considered to be positive uh, the counter clockwise moment is considered to be positive so it is producing the clockwise so we will write minus 200 and the perpendicular distance between both of these uh, 200 pound force is 1.5 feet so i will multiply it with 1.5 so now let's simplify this equation first this is the resultant couple so 4 into 1.5 is 4 multiplied by 1.5 this is 6 so we can say that this is 6 divided by 5f plus 3 into 4 is 12 divided by 5f minus 200 into 1.5 this is 300 so this is the general equation for both the problems now in problem 477 we are given the force magnitude and we are re required to find the resultant couple moment so we need to plug in that f value in this equation and we will be able to find the resultant couple moment so problem 477 solution f is equal to 150 pounds 
so now we will put it in this equation so the resultant couple moment is 6 divided by 5 into 150 plus 12 divided by 5 into 150 so this is 6 into 150 divided by 5 plus uh, 12 12 divided by 5 into 150 and here we have that minus 300 as well so we have to write minus 300 minus 300 so this gives us the resultant couple moment equals to 240 pound feet since the forces are given in pounds and the distances are considered in feet so the L so the final units of the resultant couple will be 240 pound feet so this is the solution of problem 477 now in problem 478 we are given the resultant couple moment magnitude and we are asked to find the f magnitude so now in problem 478 we are given this and we are required to find this f value so 478 solution so now in this equation we need to put this value and that is given as 300 pound feet counterclockwise so this means that the resultant couple is plus 300 pound feet and force magnitude is required so now let's put values in this equation so we will have plus 300 equals to 6 divided by 5 f plus 12 divided by 5 f minus 300 so now we can bring this 300 to the other side of equation it will become positive so we will have plus 300 and we can take f common from both of these terms so now um, 6 divided by 5 plus 12 divided by 5 this gives us 18 divided by 5 so 18 divided by 5 f equals to 600 and from this we can say that the force magnitude is 600 into 5 divided by 18 if we cross multiply so 600 600 multiply by 5 divided by 18 this gives us 166.67 or we can say that the force magnitude is approximately 167 pounds so this is the solution of problem 478 so this is the solution of these two problems i hope it will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy that will help me to reach out many more st students like you people